Jane comes here, titty enthusiast, if uh, you can already tell you. And today on How I Say That, we gonna free the nipple. <laughs> Figuratively. <laughs> hey, I ain't this no modern day sex symbol. I'm also the smartest, big chested woman decided to make some dick some line. For all y'all single minded motherfuckers out there that's always going, let's see your nipples. Y'all know how tired I get to see you hearing that? What's wrong with your titties? Let us see your titty. Where's your nipple? Nipple, 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 nipple fucking nipple. Y'all make me sick. Hey, get you some class and then you can maybe deserve a nip slip. Y'all oh, classless son bitches. <coughs> Shit, folks is all the time trying to report my pics and vids. <coughs> even when it's just words. <coughs> For nudity. This will be country, sis. Hey, but I always keep my nipples covered even when I get clothes on. Look at here. It's called a dimmer. The goddamn look, my my nipples are like a, a pencil eraser. If I don't cover them up, y'all be jacking off all of the damn time of your live long day. I mean, how else you gonna, gonna listen and pay attention to this genius mouth of mine with if you can just uh, looking at this? And that's not the point. I ought to not have to cover them up. It's just cause we live in a sex obsessed and a, in a, in a sex shaming country all in one. That's why folks are so obsessed over a damn nipple. I'd rather go live over in England where you can have tits out on the TV. And that shit is more funnier than the dreck they pass off for funnier around here. Hey, my y'all might not even know this, but there's like 20 host states in the United of America that can walk around in the streets, tits off, and can't out, and can't nobody say, give you no ticket, say nothing about it. It's perfectly legal. Me and my gay friend was down at the, um, uh, New Orleans Mardi Gras for the gay par parade for Mardi Gras. It was a long time ago, but I don't mean nothing. And, and he seen some, some friends, you know, out at the bar tossing some, you know, beads around, you know. In his movies, I mean, back then he had movies. Right now he all bam, pumped up and you're living waste and getting, mm, mm, getting ripped. He looked good. Well, they was already out because he's a man and he is allowed to be topless. So he grabbed his short and he flashes on my ice cheek and it wasn't 10 seconds later. Here comes the peas going, well, hey, that's nudity. And if you do it again, we're going to hog your ice to the slammer. So anyways, I just flashed the popo. I said, hi, what you going to do to me? And he was like, no nudity below the waist. And I... Well, I got to thinking. I mean, after we got back from fucking in the squad car, that's a double standard. <laughs> It is sexist bullshit that I got to keep my goddamn hair shirt on just cause I got titties. Uh, and laws needs to be fair to everybody. And saying covering up your nipples is violating my fucking bill of rights. Y'all, there's some male, uh, some, uh, there's some male politicians out there that they say society gonna fucking collapse if, if men's had to sit around and look at women's as titties. It ain't my goddamn job to control your pervert urges. Unless you want to pay me to get all gussied up in my leather and my whip and stomp on your balls with my stilettos. But unless it's that, you just mind your own goddamn business. I, they always saying, men's will be men's. We can't control ourselves. That is such bullshit. Well, them same men's need to, to wear shock collars around their fucking cocks. And this will lead me to my... Final point. Y'all already done know I hate youngins, especially them little squally bally ones. But hey, it's the only way you can shut their ass up is to pop their mouth full of a titty full of titty milk. Be my fucking get shooters out, lady. She bitch about squalling youngins at restaurants all the time. And man, oh man, y'all think my titties is the big? Hers look like 
like this big. They like huge, like like not them baby watermelons, but them long watermelons. Well, what she done the other night was well, she went over to the table tap that bitch's mama and the 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 shoulder, and she's pull that giant titty out, and she said, "Give me that goddamn youngin." She flopped that titty out on that baby, and it damn near died. Anyway, we can't go back to Applebee's no more for a while. Let's me in disguise. God darn, give me a break. It's a fucking baby. It's baby food. That's what the Lord made. Sorry, and all y'all. This ain't Adam and Eve. She ain't no goddamn bottle. If you can sexualize breastfeeding, uh, you probably need to be on a watch list for molesting babies. Man, my mama used to b breastfeed me after a bender. And if you think I was gonna turn down free alcohol, hell to the no. I wanna say something to Wendy Williams out there. Hey, Darren. Listen up, you drag queen wanna be. Fuck you for breastfeed shaming that who's the boss woman that was on that witch show. The only problem with breastfeeding is the folks what got a problem with breastfeeding. Shame on you for shaming another woman for doing this what comes natural and that's how I say it. Free the nipple! Woo! <laughs> Y'all bunch of fucking horn dogs! April Foo's.